Watching today's winners and losers on Wall Street with our financial expert Rob Black. And Rob, we've seen a Facebook stock take off as of late. Is it time to start buying social media stocks? Yeah, um, and this is odd for me to say. It's not time to buy, but it's definitely time to start looking more seriously at it. Last week, Facebook reported mobile ad revenue growth that was significant, thus making the category very much so real and alive. Now again, Zynga's considerably different than LinkedIn and Yelp. I particularly like LinkedIn on pullbacks. I seem to think that they have the cleanest model of them all. It's positive out there that Yahoo, I'm sorry, that Google, um, Google, Facebook really opened this category fast. It grew up in less than a year. As we're throwing out names, let's throw out Amazon. Here's a company that's been growing like gangbusters, and they announced a new wave of hiring now. Yeah, and um, they're up to almost 100,000 employees. President Barack Obama is going to be touring the country this week, and on Tuesday, he's going to stop in Chattanooga, Tennessee to talk about jobs in the United States. This is a new fulfillment center for Amazon. Human beings work right side by side with robots. Um, big hiring spree. Uh, clearly, Amazon can no longer count on the no sales internet tax issue. So they're becoming a retailer now more than a tech company, but they're still a tech company because they've got those cool gadgets out there that we're consuming. They've got almost 100,000 employees compared that to Microsoft at almost 100,000 and compare that to Google at 20,000. This is the largest, most employed company in the United States as far as tech companies go. Wow, and a strange investing strategy here. People are now preferring cash over stocks for investment. And 20 years from now, we're going to be doing a story. You and I will have a little bit more gray on our heads <laughs> that a lot of people are living in poverty because of the decisions that they're making today. Uh, people perceive cash as safer than stocks, bonds, and real estate. 26% of Americans prefer cash as a long-term investment. A $10,000 investment into a bank account cash would be $110 over a decade, basically not growing at all. Inflation averages 2 to 4%, so that money is losing purchasing, value, uh, purchasing power. You know, again, stock Stocks have averaged 9% a year. That's the way to go, including dividends. Real estate's a nice long-term play, but it takes a lot of cash to play that game, and a lot of cash flow has to be positive for it to be an investment versus a liability. Americans are making a tragic, tragic mistake, and 20 years from now, there's going to be a lot of poverty amongst wow. our senior citizens. If people are scared of stocks, do you prefer things like corporate bonds or municipal bonds or anything in that direction in the bond department? If it, people are under the age of 50, okay. they just need to look at the next 10, 20, 30 years, they look back at the last 10, 20, 30 years, look at any 10, 20, 30 year period on the Wall Street and you're pleased if you dollar cost average. I don't go corporate bonds, you're just not going to get enough return. You need to save 15% of your pay income and you need to put it in a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds, and real estate and you need to give it time. All right, thank you, Rob. Also watching uh, automakers and uh, the growth of apps, pretty incredible to watch, especially with Tesla. Yeah, um, I so badly want to get a new car, but <laughs> at the same time I want to wait for next year's new cars. It's so beautiful, this car. Tesla and um, apps are now being downloaded onto the dashboard. Again, let me repeat that. Apps are being downloaded onto the dashboard. 60 million cars will be connected on the road globally within five years. This will be a new source of income for telecom companies. Right now, Pandora is already streaming in two and a half million cars. Uh, Apple and Google have a lot to gain from this as you dock your phone. It will now control your music, it'll control your streaming, it'll do your emails for you. Next five years is going to be very exciting. It may not be the watch that we're all excited by, it may be the connected car that we're excited by. Well, and I think whoever makes the first antivirus software for your car is going to make it fortune. <laughs> I agree. All Security's right. not going to go away. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. And you catch Rob Black segments not only on the Cron 4 Morning News, but also on our 24-7 Bay Area News Channel, Comcast 193.